Hey folks, thanks for dropping by for another visit here at the channel and very recently I took a look at uh, Cosmos from a couple of years ago and I figured, you know, I, I would do that in anticipation of his remold and since I was looking at him I figured, hey, why not take a look at, uh, you know, the other figure that was released with him in his wave and that of course would be this guy, it is the Transformers Generations Legends Class Swerve and Flanker. Um, we're going to take a look at these guys. Uh, I kind of got them unexpectedly, and we're going to see um, if they, you know, are, are kind of diamonds in the rough and jewels that you should look for or not in the latest GotBot True Review. Hey guys, it's great to see you again back here. I'm your host, Dennis Moulton, aka GotBot. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, check me out everywhere, check out my work. Um, and we're going to uh, go on with these guys. <clears throat> so we have first up Flanker. Flanker was part of the Air Patrol. He had a different name um, that now eludes me. Air, air burst, maybe? Maybe. I'm not, I, I can't, don't quote me on that. I know he had a different name and he was part of the like air patrol squad or some such thing. Um, he's a, he's got great paint apps. He's a pretty good little robot. I'm going to give his paint apps like a nine. I think that they're really nice to be honest with you. His posability, playability is still like a one because the arms go up and down and that's really all that he does. Uh, transformation, well, you know, you lay him down, you put the arms out. You put the the nose down, and you put these out, and you have a little uh, plane shuttle type of thing uh, to make him a target master partner. Um, how do you make this guy a target master partner? You got to. Get that handle down, get those wings back, and you flip the front of the body all the way down, and then you flip the body all the way up, that's what I thought. Yeah, there you go, you flip the body all the way up, and there's a little slot right there, a little slot right there, and a little tab right here, and he actually locks in as, uh, you know, as his kind of blaster weapon. Again, it's a five millimeter peg, can go into the hands of anybody with five millimeter port. Um, I, I, I'm thinking it might be like a chain gun type of type of weapon. It's it. He's actually pretty cool. As far as these little Target Master guys go, I think that this guy turned out all right. Um, to change your back is pretty simple, of course. You unpeg, pull the full body down, push it up again, and put that back, and you have him back in robot mode right there. Um, you know, again, this this guy, this little Target Master guy, it's, it's nice that it was there. Certainly not necessary. Certainly not the star of the show. It's probably like a four or five. Can we move on to Swerve? Swerve. Uh, first and foremost, let's just see uh, how this guy stacks up with uh, a modern day uh, Legends figure. I'm going to use my custom wheelie. Wheelie is actually really becoming a, a friend for these these comparisons here, apparently. And for some reason, he does not want to stand for me. I think it's my surface, though. It's not really wheelie. He's he's. He's okay for standing. Wheelie's all right for standing. Uh, and there you go. I mean, you know, they scale. They scale well. I think they look good. I think it looks pretty, pretty appropriate. Uh, I will say this: Wheelie is a, a little bit bent over there because of uh, you know me trying to get him to stand quickly. Um, but you know, they're they're the same size. I, I don't think it looks like it on camera. I think it looks like Wheelie's smaller. But I think that's only because Swerve is uh, a little broader, to be honest with you. I think it's, it's kind of masking the fact that they're actually like the same height. So we'll take Wheelie out of it again. Uh, the paint apps for this guy. I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him a 9. 
I am going to give them a 9 because you, know, you have the red and the white pretty much, pretty much where it should be. Granted, his legs should have more white on them uh, up through here and the entire thigh should really be white. Uh, so, you know, they did break it up a little bit, but I think it works on the figure itself. Uh, and the head, when I remember his animation, and I mean, I'll, you know, the only reference to this guy in the original animation is when he took part in a race that kept looping uh, during a, like a time crisis thing, and of course he got stomped on by Trypticon. And I feel like his head was a little more of a a little more of a pink than his arms were. Maybe it was just the way it was colored, but I, I feel like the head was a, a little bit of a different color. I like this. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Pretty accurate. Uh, pose ability, play ability. Well, the head, uh, I guess it can go left and right. It's, it's down between these two shoulder pieces, and it has his hood here as a back piece, so you're not actually getting a lot of movement. It does go forward and back for sure, uh, quite well. I mean, if you just move that, you can see it goes forward and back, really nice. Uh, the arms, the shoulders, you know, they can go way, way out. They go all the way around. There's a nice deep elbow bend to 90 degrees and a swivel. Uh, so that stuff is great. No waist articulation on this guy. Uh, but his hips go all the way out to the side. He can do the splits with the absolute best of them. And leg goes all the way out and all the way back. Uh, nice, tight, deep knee bend. I, I love the tolerances on this guy. Everything is tight, um, but not too tight. It's, it's fantastic. It would have been nice if he had ankle tilts. Um, but, again, look at the size class we're looking at. I'm going to give his articulation, and by the way, he, he rolls great, and he stands solid because his feet are big. I'm giving his uh, articulation a 9. Uh, so far, this guy's scoring a 9 again. These, I, I really feel like, you know, we've hit the sweet spot when it comes to the Legends class, and we've been getting some fantastic, fantastic representations. Let's look at his transformation now. Uh, you take the hood uh, kind of back out of the way, and you take the arms, and they'll go down by the side, and you'll notice that there's like a cutout space here in his arm, and there's part of a door right here. So you know what, you can bring the arm down, or sorry, bring the arm up, and push it in and bring the shoulder up and push it in and they fit over nicely there. The whole hood that was his backpack, you angled it out and now you pull it up and you push it down. And there's the front of them done. All we have to do now is deal with the back of them. Uh, to deal with the back of them, you just kind of angle the waist down a little bit. If it was angled back like this, you just kind of pull it forward a little bit. You take his leg pieces and you fold them up should be able to peg them together. And then you just fold the legs right in over and they peg in very nicely. And now it's only a matter really of kind of squeezing everything together there and squeezing everything together over here and boom, you have Swerve in his vehicle mode. It is the sort of thing that you have a lot of guides. Uh, he looks great in this mode, not panely. Uh, not penalty, he rolls fantastic. Honestly, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I really am, and I think the transformation is, you know, it's quick, it's not hard, it's enjoyable. I'm giving this transformation a 10. I think it is pretty ideal uh, for transformation. I really do. Now, here's the one part that's not ideal. And this guy, honestly, is a nine and a half. He is a fantastic mold, fantastic representation. But the weapon storage is still pretty terrible. Putting his target master partner back in its target master mode, there's a, a hole on the top of the vehicle, and you can you can you can do that. I guess you could always turn it around like that. You could put him in shuttle mode and do the same thing and have a shuttle on the top of. of Swerve. Doesn't really work for me. I'll take that out. I'm sorry I showed that to you. I know. It's not good. It's not good weapon storage.
But does it hurt this guy? Not in the least. He's a nine and a half. Uh, I got him a, a couple of months ago. Starscream girlfriend, uh, you know, nabbed him for my birthday. Um, and I'd always kind of been on the fence about him. He wasn't someone I particularly, you know, sought to hunt down. But I'm glad that I got him because he is fun. Just plain fun. And after all, isn't that exactly what a, you know, a Transformer should be? Fun. Anyway, that's it for this guy. Uh, hopefully this was, you know, brief and informative. And uh, we got another one of the, you know, more classic waves out of the way now. As we uh, move on <clears throat> with, some, uh, with some other product that uh, is up and coming. Thanks for dropping by, as always, and giving me a little bit of your valuable time. Um, believe me, I really do appreciate it. And uh, what else can I say? I look forward to the next time that you and I get together for another visit right here inside the videos.